So articulation points. So it has two articulation points. Um, the first one is a lisan, the, the tongue. And we will explain one by one. Okay. So if you see here, okay. So from the top, from the tip of the top, uh, from the tip of the tongue and what lies opposite to it. So from the tip of the tongue and what lies opposite to it. Okay. That's the roof of the mouth and uh, the gum. Uh, the gum of the two top incisors, okay, this place, and uh, slightly beneath the articulation point of la. This is for noon when it is not hidden. So hidden noon has multiple uh, uses. So we are you we are, this is only when uh, noon is clearly pronounced. Then um, this is the articulation point, okay. So that's the tip of the tongue, and this is the place. Um, on the, gum, the gums of the top two incisors. See, you can see here, that's the tip of the tongue and the gums of the top two incisors. This is when the, the noon is pronounced clearly. When an other case, when it has ghunna attached to it, then the articulation point is al khashum, the nasal passage. Then the sound goes through that as well. It has different multiple uses, but we will have a, um, maybe few lessons on it not one because it has a lot of uh, uses of noon uh, there has a lot of uh, rules attached to noon noon, noon sakina tanwin etc this is just the basic okay so the basic is the the tip of the tongue and what is opposite to that uh, gum the gum of the two top incisors when it's clear and when it is with runna then then the the khayshum, the nasal passage is involved in there as well Let me explain that with the 3D model. So we use the tip of the tongue as the one point and uh, that's the gum line of the of the top two incisors okay. that's the articulation point when the noon is pronounced clearly and when it is uh, not clearly then with the and stuff then you have other passing or the maharaj involved in there okay so we can't do that on here 3d diagram so we have explained that in previous slide 